Hey guys, me again. Um, Sunday here at the store. We're running really slow today. Um, so, I'm going to bring you my first pipe tobacco review, which I, I don't like to do reviews spur of the moment uneducated. Like the other day I did my swag review, which I don't think I did a bad job for my first cigar review, especially posting on YouTube, but um, I feel like there needs to be some serious research that goes into it to not misrepresent any facts or piss anybody off. The other day in my video I showed you guys my full Balkan Reserve from McClellan, which I'm smoking right now. I have really, really enjoyed this tin of tobacco. Um, I smoke a lot of pipe tobacco. I smoke like three to six bowls a day, depending on the day. If it's really slow, I find myself just occupying myself with a nice smoke, so better than binge eating, I guess. Um, so, back to the Balkan. Now, this is a Balkan-style pipe tobacco. It's an English blend that consists of aromatic Latakia and for the spice and some of the flavor, the Macedonian leaf. Now, I'm still trying to learn as much as possible about predominant regions for pipe tobacco, um, certain flavors for certain areas. Um, I've learned a lot about pipe tobacco being different as opposed to cigars. I have a much larger repertoire of cigar knowledge than I do of pipe tobacco knowledge at this point in time, but I'm um, trying to remedy that. So with this review, I'm smoking out of my Savinelli again. Um, I love this pipe, but I cannot wait to get my Jake Hacker. I'm just really excited about it. Um, yet again, I wanted to thank you, Jake, and uh, thank the Smoking Dagners and Dagner Performance. Um, Jason, yet again, appreciate your videos, buddy, because I, um, I'm lucky to have stumbled across Jake's work and to be able to get a pipe from such a wonderful guy. Um, one Man Smoke, I really appreciate your videos too, man. Um, and Piping Ain't Easy, representing the valley down here. This pipe tobacco is very smooth. It has a wonderful, sweet... I know a lot, some of the Latakias you get a hold of almost have a soapy... Um, characteristic to them. I think mostly because of the wood they use while curing the Latakia. If you're unfamiliar with the Latakia process, they cure the tobacco in their curing barns, sheds, whatever you want to call them, with a uh, hardwood smoke or whatever like wood they choose to smoke the Latakia with. I know they do some lighter versions of the Latakia. I'm not, I can't remember if it's, I know it's not burly that they do that with. Um, Anyway, if somebody knows, go ahead and comment. Um, they use a lighter smoking process to just get a hint of smokiness to the tobacco as opposed to the full strength Latakia. Um, but anyway, this tobacco almost has a, it's like a toffee, which one thing that I always try to recommend customers when they're looking for pipe tobacco, we don't have a huge selection of pipe tobacco, let alone tin tobacco, but my boss is bringing that in, which I'm super excited for. Um, and he's bringing in a, a large um, array of pipes. So that's good for me because I get my employee discount, which he recommended I wait for for my pipe buying until we get them in here. And then I can buy until my greedy little heart is satisfied. Um, but this this, these English blends, people don't realize, have such a wonderful flavor to them, and they're they're so fixated on aromatics because they smell good. And don't get me wrong, I you know I give everybody any right to smoke exactly what they want. If you want to walk out on the street and pick up dog turds and stiff, stuff them in your pipe, 
I don't care. You know, if that's what you enjoy, then you smoke your dog turds and you'll be happy with that. That's like people that come in and buy two, three dollar cigars. That is your right to enjoy exactly what you want for the price you want to pay. I'm not downing anybody for that. But um, I try to get a lot of customers to realize the fact that English tobaccos just have such, such good and rich flavor. And they don't burn the shit out of your tongue. I don't want to, I don't want to smoke a bowl of cherry aromatic and feel like I just ate a plate of pizza rolls right out of the microwave, and you all know what that's like. It's like licking a fucking muffler. Um, the first week I started smoking pipe, I went nuts on aromatics, and it killed me. I, I felt like I had, I felt like Harvey Two-Face, but my tongue was what got hit with the acid. I just, I, I felt like I had been licking battery posts on my car. It just was horrible. And it almost put me off of pipe smoking, which happens a lot with uh, younger generation pipe smokers because they think, oh, the cherry smells so good, it's got to taste great. Not so much. Um, but anyway, enough of me ranting for the full review of this pulp, this uh, full Balkan Reserve. It's, it's, like I said before, a nice toffee flavor to it with some nutty characteristics and I personally like to blow through the nose when I'm smoking my pipe because it's such a delicate smoke and it's nice and smooth through the nose it just it's so rich and it's almost decadent with this pipe tobacco which I'm talking too much so I'm gonna have to relight but um if you guys haven't tried a good English blend, go out and try some Frog Morton across the pond, or the Full Balkan Reserve from McClellan, or the Syrian Reserve. Um, just, just treat yourself. Um, and mind you, everybody's pH balance and with their saliva is going to be different. So things that might not burn me might burn you. And remember to always practice good smoking habits. If you have any questions, um, Dagger Performance has a video on how how he likes to do everything. So if you got any questions, head on over to his his uh, channel. Give him a sub if you like his video, um, and and just learn from somebody who smokes a lot of pipe tobacco, and you know it'll keep you it'll it'll save your tongue a lot of problems. This, this, this is such a wonderful pipe tobacco. I just, I'm so overjoyed with that toffee flavor. It just hits so hard, and it's a nice, sweet finish. And and I, I, I don't like pipe tobacco that's overly sweet because they dump sugar, they case it with sugar. And I like the English techniques of, well, I should say for English pipe tobacco, the techniques they use for casing some of their tobaccos for a little bit richer flavor. They use natural sugars like honey and and um, what's the other one that they use? I know they use honey at least, but those are some more expensive pipe tobacco plants. Um, in America, here we use a corn syrup solution with water, and usually the tobaccos sprayed with this casing. Um, it tends to it tends to richen it up, and I I, I guess it smooths it out a little bit. But in my opinion, most of the aromatics that come from here in America tend to be um, too artificial for my taste. You know, it'd be one thing if they, they cured the tobacco with like vanilla bean or um, actual cherries, you know, to impart some flavor to, which I realize is somewhat unrealistic. So I'm not going to down on anybody for it. But, um,. I keep you guys under 10 minutes here and not waste your lives. This full Balkan Reserve is a wonderful pipe tobacco to try. Um, yeah, I, I have no bad, I have no qualms with this pipe tobacco. Um, it's not stemmy. McClellan does a nice job of just packing her full of tobacco um, 
rich Latakia flavor when you open it up. It doesn't have that acetic acid, almost tomatoey or ketchupy smell to it. It's really rich, almost Worcestershire-like smell. But um, I, I stress trying this this pipe tobacco, and this is again the full Vulcan Reserve from McClellan. So go ahead and give her a shot and see what you think. Thanks, guys. Take her easy.